It's awesome. You know, I've played in the stadium before. Uh, I wanted to come to a school that was big and play in a big environment in the SEC, and uh, OU's close to home, so I couldn't be more excited. You had to make that choice and enter the portal after doing so well at SMU. How difficult was that for you? It was really hard because, I mean, I have a lot of friends at SMU. I respect the coaches at SMU. Uh, it was a really tough decision, but I felt like it's what I needed to do uh, for myself just to get a new experience. What do you remember about the environment here in this stadium, and what are you looking forward to? I remember a lot. I remember it was there was red and white everywhere. It was, it was pretty cool. We came out of the tunnel. I was like, wow. This is a big time real college football right here. So I just knew like that's something I want to be a part of one day. So. What about what about Coach Beat? Sorry to cut you off. What about Coach Beat and Bo? What about that relationship and that brought you in? Yeah, Coach B is one of the main reasons why I came here, obviously, is a proven track record. Uh, he puts guys in the NFL and he also has guys succeed in college. So I mean it's like why would you not come play for Coach B? You were on opposite sides of a pretty heated rivalry series with Dominic Williams the yeah. last couple of years. What's it like to be teammates with him now? It's good. I mean, uh, yeah, me and Dom probably didn't like each other much back in the day, but uh, you know, now we're teammates and uh, we built a pretty good relationship in the summer and it's good to go against a familiar face every day that's also a really good player. So. How good is he? He's good. He's really strong. I mean, y- y'all have probably seen that before. Uh, he's, he's a big guy and uh, strong, but also moves well. So he's a great guy to practice against every day for sure. How do you feel about this O-line? It's kind of remade from, from previous years. Yeah, I, mean, I feel great. I mean, we got a lot of guys that are working really hard. Um, we uh, built a good relationship, good bond in the summer, a lot of guys hanging out together. Uh, being a transfer, I'm thankful for the guys. Came in a little later than everyone else, and they brought me in like I was one of their own. So it's been a, it's been a good experience so far and a good first two days. Been in it, being an experienced guy and also playing that, that center position, have you kind of taken on a, a leadership role, or do you kind of have to grow into that in the new place? I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, you got to grow into it. you got to earn people's respect. But also, I mean, we have a lot of guys that have played a lot of football. We have a lot of leaders. So, I mean, it's never, it's never good to have one guy leading the whole group. It's a lot of guys collective talking, getting the group going. So, I mean, I feel like that's what we have here, and that's what you want in an O-line room. How has Jackson been getting to work with him? It's been good. I mean, obviously, growing up in the Dallas area, I knew who Jackson was coming out of high school. And uh, I know he's a great player and he's a great person. I mean, I hung out with him on my official visit. And I, it's yeah, I, he's one of the reasons why I came here, too. Honestly, you want to play with a good quarterback to have a chance to win. So it's been great. Have you got a chance to work with any of the backup QBs yet? Uh, yeah, everyone, all the centers work with everyone. So I mean, you get, you get, you get to know everyone pretty well. So can you describe kind of their communication with you and, and that kind of thing as you're in the in the huddle, getting ready to snap the ball or whatever? Yeah, it's pr- I mean pretty standard. Anywhere you go, I mean, tell you the play, tell you who's motion and where, all that stuff. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty pretty standard. But all the quarterbacks do a great job of uh, communicating. Everyone, there's no there's no uh, lapse between guys. Everyone's pretty much on the same page. So there's so many new guys, kind of transfers that have come into the offensive line. Talk about what kind of dynamic that is and trying to get together and become one offensive line. Yeah, I mean, it's not easy. No one no one will say it was going to be easy, but uh, it helps going through summer together. I mean, Coach Smitty put us in a great position to work really hard and uh, get together. Uh, we had guys host stuff on the weekends so that everyone could be around each other and just not just hang out when you're only in the facility. That's the biggest thing is you got to be around each other outside the facility, build real bonds, not just, hey, we're double teaming this guy here. You got to you got to hang out together. So what's it like been learning the Latrell offense? It's been good. It's similar kind of what I've played in before. So for me, there's not too much difference, but uh, I can tell it's explosive. It's fast. I mean, we're going to score a lot of points and that's exciting. So are there parts of camp you guys enjoy or is it just a grind? Yeah, I mean, you have to find the fun in camp, honestly. I mean, it's a lot of practice. It's a lot of days. I mean, you're up here meeting all day. But like I said, having bonds with the guys, talking, hanging out when the meetings break out a little bit, just you got to find enjoyment in the little things. And that's what we do. What can you know about the, the line? You haven't put on pads. Do you have to wait till you go pad or can stuff you do in the summer and the early workouts tell you how good you think you can be in the up front? Yeah, I mean, having pads on does help for sure. I mean, right now we're practicing with the little vest on or whatever, so it's pretty much the same thing. So you can tell. I mean, we got a good group, so I'm excited. How excited are you for that first home game here? Oh, it's going to be awesome. That, I've been thinking about that a lot uh, recently, actually. just. Playing in a stadium like this with all these fans that are cheering for me instead of against me is going to be a pretty cool, cool feeling. So a lot of young guys in that offensive line room. What did you and some of the other veterans in that group try to impress upon them? 
just continue to work hard every day. I mean, that's the thing too, is you don't really have to force it. With uh, the way Schmitty runs practices and the way Coach B pushes us, you have to work hard. And everyone does, honestly. It's really impressive how hard everyone works. And uh, I'm, I'm just excited to work with the guys in games and all that stuff, so. Who are some of the young offensive linemen who have stood out for the, through the first couple practices? I think Eddie. Eddie's caught my eye. He's just a freak athlete. I mean, he has all the tools. Just uh, got to get some things going, but obviously he's just got here. It's been two days. He's really athletic. He's a really good kid, and he works really hard, so I'm excited for him for sure. What have you made of the center group with Troy? I know he's been banged up, but also Josh Bates. Yeah, I mean, we got a good group of guys, and uh, that's exciting. I mean, you need good players. You need good players at all five positions, so having good guys, having depth at every position, especially in a conference like the SEC, is really important. So it's a great group of guys, not only on the field, but they're also great people off. With the defense that this team has now, does that make you guys as an offense better going up against them? 100%. That's honestly another reason why I came here, playing against this defense, playing against Coach Venable's schemes. I mean, you're going to see everything in practice. And uh, that's how it was when we played here at SMU is, oh, we have to ID all these fronts. They're changing constantly. It makes your mind work. So when you get to do that every single day and then go out and play a defense that doesn't do it, it makes your job way easier. Any thoughts on bringing Burger House to Norman? You're kind of responsible <laughs> that's, that's, for that being yeah, a Dallas guy now. That's a great question. I wish Burger House came to Norman. That would be awesome. <laughs> we worked on it. Yeah. I only ask great questions. Hey, what, the way things work now at the transfer portal, when you walk this plane, do you have any thoughts that maybe you'd be on the other side of the sideline playing for Oklahoma? I mean, I was focused on the season last year. We had a great year at SMU, and uh, my focus was winning a conference championship, which we did. Um, I wasn't really thinking about it until I did enter the portal and realized I had played here before, so.